Another day, another positive test for the Vancouver Canucks. One week after the outbreak began, only four players on their active roster haven't caught COVID. These guys are professional athletes and this has knocked them on their asses. Former Canuck goalie and current color commentator Corey Hirsch says he has spoken to some of the players. I don't think anybody really thought it was going to be this quite this bad. Um, I know there's some, some players that are, are they're struggling, like they're hurting. The total is now 21 players, including three from the taxi squad and four staff members. The team today confirming the cases involve a variant, though further testing is needed to determine which one, and that one person caught it in the community, despite league recommendations against going to public locations and daily testing. Being a 20-year-old elite hockey player probably puts you in a category where your recovery is going to be reasonable, but there are the odd healthy person that has a very, very, you know, aggressive response to these viruses. The NHL says it is committed to playing out the rest of the season, even though the Canucks were unlikely to make the playoffs. As time marches on, you wonder if those games need to be played, but there is a competitive balance to all of this, and the league does need to figure out standings. In its statement, the team says their situation is a stark reminder of how quickly the virus can spread and its serious impact even among healthy young athletes. Team owner Francesco Aquilini echoed that on Twitter, saying if the COVID variant can knock down a whole team of healthy young athletes, everyone is high risk. Please read and follow the province-wide restrictions. How do you turn it into something good, something positive, right? And maybe this will be the public that needs to see, like, hey, this, this is real. As for when and which Canucks will take to the ice, that is still unclear. Susanna De Silva, CBC News, Vancouver.